Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 27th of May 2024. Essence. Sweet children, prepare food while staying in remembrance and the hearts of those who eat that food will become pure. The food of you Brahmins has to be very pure. Question. Why does death not come to your door in the golden age? Answer. It is because you children learn with the father how to die alive at the confluence age. Death can never come to the door of those who have died alive. You have come here to learn how to die. The golden age is the land of immortality. Death cannot come to anyone there. This kingdom of Ravan is a land of death and this is why everyone here continues to experience untimely death. Om Shanti When you sweetest children have seen the exhibitions and come here, Your intellects should remember how we were Shudras and how we became Brahmins and how we will then become Sun Dynasty and Moon Dynasty deities. You have to keep these confluence aged models at the exhibitions. In between the Golden Age and the Iron Age is this confluence age. So the confluence aged model should be in the middle. In that you should portray 15 to 20 people dressed in white sitting doing tapasya. Just as the sun dynasty is portrayed, so the moon dynasty also has to be portrayed. You have to create such models that people understand that those who are doing tapasya are the same ones who then become like that. There are also the images of you at the beginning dressed ordinarily doing tapasya and also dressed according to your future royal status. These images should be made so that you will also then be able to explain that these are the souls who become that. You have to show it accurately. We Brahma Kumars and Kumaris study Raja Yoga and become that. Therefore you also definitely have to show the confluence age. You children have come back after seeing that exhibition and so this knowledge should remain in your intellects throughout the day. Only then can you be called Master Oceans of Knowledge, Children of the Ocean of Knowledge. If there isn't any knowledge in your intellect, you cannot be called an Ocean of Knowledge. Throughout the day, your intellects should be engaged in this, then your bondages will break. We are now Brahmins and will then become deities. If you don't make good effort, you will go into the warrior clan. You won't even be able to see paradise. The main thing is paradise. The golden age is called the wonder of the world and this is why you have to make effort. There should be both your pictures, one in a coloured dress adorned with jewels and the other of you in Tapasya. They will then understand that you are the ones who are sitting in the subtle region. Your dress can be changed, but your features cannot be changed. That is the impure family path, whereas this is the pure family path. People will be able to understand through this that you are carrying out establishment. Those who make effort will receive the reward. There are many who are going to become Brahmins. 
At this time there are few of you. Day by day there will continue to be expansion. You have it in your intellects how the world cycle turns and how you are now doing to pass here and how you will then become that. This is known as sitting here in the awareness of being a spinner of the discus of self-realization because you have all this knowledge in your intellects what we were before and what we are becoming now. A student would definitely remember his teacher. You too have to remember the father. Only with the pilgrimage of remembrance can your sins be cut away. When a soul becomes pure, he receives a pure body. Those who become Brahmins from Shudras then become deities. The bigger the model you have of this, the better it will be, because you have to write that these confluence-aged Brahmins are the ones who become the most elevated. The Father now sits here and teaches you. At the top is the image of Shiv Baba who is teaching you. You are becoming this. This Brahma is also with you. He too is a student dressed in white. People don't even believe in the kingdom of Rama. It is said, Rama is the king and the subjects are those who belong to Rama. There is the righteous kingdom in the golden age but the warriors of the Silver Age have been defamed. The Sun Dynasty has not been defamed. So you also have to write, This is the Kingdom of Rama, God, where everyone is godly, and there is righteousness in the Kingdom. That is semi-heaven because it is 14 degrees. Such defamatory things do not exist there. Make it clear to them what you are becoming. We are establishing our own self-sovereignty. We are establishing the one sovereignty of peace in the world, which everyone asks for. When Baba sees the exhibition, he continues to have thoughts. When you children go back home, you forget all of these things, but you should keep all of these things in your intellects. It should not be that as soon as you go out of the exhibition, everything is over. This should bubble up in the intellects of the good effort-making children, just as it continues to bubble up in Baba's intellect. If there is this knowledge in your intellects, you will also have remembrance of Baba. You will continue to make progress. If you don't become Sato Pradhan, you won't go into the Golden Age. Therefore, you should keep yourself firmly on the pilgrimage of remembrance. You are Raja Yogis. You have long hair. All of that praise is of you mothers. You have natural locks, hair. The true form of you Raja Yogis and Yogi Tapaswis is shown in that way. All of these matters have to be understood. The father says, renounce all the religions of bodies and have the faith that you are souls. Forget all the relationships of bodies. Only remember the one Father. He is making you very prosperous. Die alive. The Father comes and teaches you how to die alive. The Father says, I am the death of all death. I teach you how to die in such a way that death can never come to your door. 
There is no kingdom of Ravan there. There is no untimely death in the golden age. That is called the land of immortality. Baba is making you into the masters of the land of immortality. This is the land of death, whereas that is the land of immortality. This is Raja Yoga. You can write, The ancient Raja Yoga of Bharat is being taught once again. Those who see the exhibitions etc. should think about what else has to be done in them so that people will be able to understand accurately. There is a very good practical explanation in that. As are the king and queen, so the subjects too would be included in that. The father explains to you so clearly. Consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father. This is where you have to place the main emphasis. Come and understand how purity, peace and happiness are being established in the world. You are doing everything for yourselves. To the extent that you make effort, you will accordingly receive a status. That too is number wise. You also have to show how you become number wise. Also show the subjects. The wealthy subjects, the second grade subjects and also the third grade subjects. Show it so accurately that you can explain it very well. You have to make effort. There is little time left. This knowledge is for you. Explain at the exhibitions in such a way that people understand that they have to remember the one father alone. For only then can they become like that. Otherwise they will end up on the path of devotion. You are Maharati children and so your intellects have to work on this. There are also very good males. Number one is Jagdish who writes the magazines. Bridge Mohan is also interested in writing. Perhaps a third one will also emerge. Day by day you will continue to clarify every aspect. The Father is the ocean of knowledge. That supreme soul is filled with knowledge. Just as the songs you hear are recorded on records, so it is the same here. According to the drama, you will continue to receive the treasures that the Father has. The intellects of you children should work on this. You may do your work, etc., prepare food with your hands, but let your intellects be with Shiv Baba. Brahma Bhojan has to be pure. Brahma Bhojan is the food for Brahmins. The more yoga you Brahmins have while preparing food, the more strength that food will contain. There is also the praise of the deities praising Brahma Bhojan a great deal with which the heart is cleansed. So Brahmins should also be like that, yogis. They are not like that now. If you were to become like that now, there would be a lot of growth. However, according to the drama, growth has to take place slowly. Brahmins who say that they are preparing food in remembrance of Baba will emerge. Baba is issuing a challenge to you. There should be such Brahmins who stay in yoga while preparing food. Food should be pure. Everything depends a great deal on your food. Children don't receive it outside and this is why they come here. 
children are refreshed by food. Those who have yoga are also gyani, and this is why they are sent out on service. When there are many more, such brahmins can then also be kept here. Otherwise, maharatis too have to be present in the food department, so that food can be prepared in a yogyukt way. Deities understood that they became deities by eating Brahma Bhojan. This is why they are keen to come and meet you. How they meet you is also a clever method in the drama. They, deities, and you meet in the subtle region. That is a wonderful vision. This knowledge too is wonderful. So visions are also wonderful. They are meaningful. On the path of devotion, people make a lot of effort to have visions. They do intense devotion just to have visions. They believe that if they have a vision, they will be liberated. They don't know that those deities became that through this study. They became the Sun Dynasty and Moon Dynasty through this study. All of those pictures that have been made are nothing. All of that is the expansion of the path of devotion. The activity is very great. You can now understand the secrets of devotion and this knowledge. That father himself sits here and explains to you. He is the spiritual father. He alone is the ocean of knowledge. Every cycle, the old world being made new and Raja Yoga being taught, is the duty of the father alone. However, they have changed his name in the Gita. The father explains, that too is done every cycle. We come here from our home to play our parts. Your intellect should work on how to explain the picture of the tree to others. Some ask, will we not go to heaven? Tell them, the founder of your religion doesn't go to heaven. When he goes to heaven, you can go to heaven. Each religion has its own part at its own time. This play of the various religions has been created. It is a predestined play. There is no need to say anything in this. The main religions are shown. Only you children know this. These pictures etc. are not new. They will continue identically every cycle. There are also many types of obstacle. There are also the obstacles of being beaten. Everything is explained to you children so tactfully. Tell them, God speaks, lust is the greatest enemy. This iron aged world is now to be destroyed. The deity religion is being established. This is why the father says, Children, become pure. Conquer lust. There is a battle because of this. You explain to eminent people. When people hear the name of the governor, they all come. This is why that tactic is used. It is possible that one of them will understand this well. When they hear the names of eminent people, many will come. It is possible that someone big will come. It is very difficult. Baba writes to you so much. Children, first of all, definitely explain to the person you invite for an inauguration. This is how it is possible to change from human beings into deities. 
there can be peace in the world. It is only in heaven that there is peace and happiness in the world. Give lectures in such a way that they will be printed in the newspapers and then so many people will come to you that they won't even let you sleep. You have to renounce your sleep. You also receive power from doing service and having yoga. You are earning an income. Those who earn an income never yawn. They would never nod off. They become full by earning and so they don't feel sleepy. It becomes regular. You too are earning a huge income. Those who are to go bankrupt will yawn. Those who understand this well and stay in remembrance will never yawn. If you continue to remember your friends and relatives, you continue to yawn. That is a sign. You never yawn in heaven. Once you have received your inheritance from the Father, your sleeping, waking up, sitting, Everything is very disciplined. It is accurate. Souls become like a lever clock. They are like a cylinder at present and they have to be made like a lever. Some can make it like that and others are unable to do so. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. In order to become free from bondage and make progress, keep your intellect constantly full of this knowledge. Become a master ocean of knowledge and sit in remembrance while spinning the discus of self-realization. 2. Become a conqueror of sleep and accumulate power by having remembrance and doing service. Never become lazy in earning an income. Do not nod off. Blessing. May you be a world server who sows the seeds of love of the godly family into the world. You world serving children are sowing seeds of the love of the godly family into the world. No matter whether someone is an atheist or a theist, to give everyone the experience of a lochic love, godly love and selfless love is to sow the seeds. These seeds automatically grow trees of cooperation. Then at the right time, the fruit of them becoming easy yogis will be visible. It is just that some fruits emerge quickly and others come at their own time. Slogan To know, to recognise and to become the direct children of the Father, the bestower of fortune, is the greatest fortune of all. Om Shanti